This was the scene shortly after 11 o'clock last night at the Jared Jewelry Store near the streets at South Point Mall in Durham. The suspects led police on two separate high-speed chases before crashing both vehicles. One suspect was captured. Two others were able to get away. And now all three are facing charges, even though two of them still are not in custody. Anthony Wilson live at the Jewelry Store, which is closed for business today with much more. Anthony, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bart. We just got some pictures and information about those two guys the police are looking for. We want to show it to you right now. You take a close look. These are the men sought in connection with the robbery at this store. On the left, that man's name is Vendai Irick. He is 22 years old. He is from Fuquay Verena. Rodney Gerald Devin Bird, 20 years old, of Cary, is the other man they are still looking for. The third man you mentioned is in the hospital right now. The driver of a car we're going to show you in a minute. His name is Denzel Shivers. No picture available of him, but here's the rest of what we know so far. There's a closed for inventory sign on the door of the Jared's Jewelry Store where a bold bandit struck at about 11 last night. Durham police got here quickly after learning there was a robbery in progress and tried to stop two cars that took off in a hurry. One of those cars crashed and flipped on Meridian Parkway. The man inside that car taken to Duke Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries, police tell us. They say the second car led officers on a high-speed chase to Kitt Creek Drive in Cary, where two men jumped out and ran. The overnight drama's news to a couple who came here this morning with big plans. It's our 25th wedding anniversary, and I got him a ring, and we were here to get it sized and, you know, to do all that. So I was just disappointed. It never dawned on me that they'd been robbed. She's also surprised to hear about another high-profile crime that happened in this same shopping center a few months ago. A man shot and killed in the parking lot a short walk from here. Three teens are charged in that death. Two men wanted for the robbery here remain at large. Martha Longi hopes they'll be captured soon, but she won't let the crime keep her from the now-closed jewelry store. We'll be back. We'll be back. Police say they've recovered the merchandise stolen from the store last night. Again, this just in, three men charged, one at Duke Hospital, two still on the run. We're going to have those pictures for you online, so if you are in the area, again, we said one of these men is from Fuquay, one is from Cary. If you see them, Durham police want to hear from you. Call Crime Stoppers. They are offering a reward for information that leads to an arrest. Barbara and John. All right, Anthony Wilson, crazy night there outside that jewelry store. Thank you. You bet.